Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is June 14th. <laughs> it's Monday, yeah. <laughs> and this is episode number 144, I think. It's been a little while since I made a video, I think. Um, I don't even remember. Wednesday? Last Wednesday was when I made a video. But it's, it's just because I've been really busy. <laughs> I feel like we have been so busy since Jesse started karate classes. But, um, because we're always, like, doing regular stuff, appointments and all that, and then karate class, and then it's just, uh, the time, days just fly by. Anyways, welcome back. <laughs> I want to say hi to all the, uh, return subscribers and all the new ones. I've got a, a few new ones recently, and, uh, yeah, it's exciting. But, anyways, first, I want to announce the winner for the bonbons. Right here. There are 50 in here. Let's see here. 100% acrylic, uh, number three, DK, 22 yards each little ball, and there's 50 of them in here. And it is sold up in plastic. I got this at a yard sale for a dollar. Uh, church sale, rummage sale, whatever. <laughs> and um, I have a, had a giveaway in a previous video for it. And I drew the winner. I will pop up the picture. Um, but the winner's name <laughs> was Colette Childers. So contact me, Colette, with your uh, mailing address. And it needs to be a U.S. only address. So if you don't live, live in the U.S., let me know. <laughs> and I'll have to redraw a new winner but um yeah so contact me through email i'll pop it up on screen and it'll also be in the description box below let me know that it's you and i will check to make sure it's you <laughs> and uh then i will send this out to you as quickly as possible it'll probably be in a bag um uh, i got big pink bags that i can this i think this will fit in one and i'll send it out to you as soon as i can but yeah i just thought that was a nice little thing that's why i bought it because i don't really like uh dk weight yarn i all my amigurumis i make with worsted weight usually but I wanted to grab it since it was just a dollar and give it to someone. But there's a ton of them in there. And they're really nice colors, all kinds of colors. Yeah, so congratulations, Colette. <laughs> I did actually draw uh, four or five other people before her. But they, all of them were not, I couldn't tell if they were subscribed to me publicly. Um, and you have to be subscribed to me to win any of my giveaways. Uh, and uh, there's, I know people always ask how do I make it sure that I'm publicly subscribed and all you gotta do is Google that or YouTube it <laughs> and it, you'll pop, you know, it'll pop up a video or something showing you how to do that. But, uh, yeah, so congratulations and let's move on. <laughs> so I do have some finished objects to share with you guys and I, one whip that I can share with you. My other whip is up here. It's my Halloween, um, like secret project for my swap buddy that I'm doing a 13 days of Halloween swap with in October and I haven't even touched it since last time I talked about it because I've been so busy. I need to get it out and start working on it because Halloween's going to be here before we know it. <laughs> and um, it's a pretty big project, so I need to get some work on it. But I do have some finished objects, so yeah, and I got my list here. So the first finished object is a little tiny blanket. I don't have the ends woven in. Uh, I used a Karen cake. I'm not sure exactly what kind of Karen cake it, Karen cake it was because I have, I guess, threw away the band already. But it was when I was gifted. And I just wanted to make something with it. So I started this blanket pattern that I've made a bajillion times. And it's it's called a baby blanket, but you can make it any size you want. I made a giant one once for my sister. I used, I think, six um, Burnett Pops for it. But it's called the Rainbow Ripple Baby Blanket. And it's free pattern by Celeste Young. I'll have it linked below. So here it is. Oh, there's my. That's where it was. I was looking for this stitch marker the other day. I thought I accidentally got rid of it. But this is where I was last time I showed it to you guys. I'm going to take that off now. Because that's one of my favorite progress papers. Because it's bright and poofy. And so I, I did finish it up the whole cake. Only had a few, a little bit of yarn left afterwards. I can't remember what kind of cake this was. It wasn't a big cake. Maybe it was a big cake. I think it was a Karen big cake. Because it, it's like the same size as the baby cakes. But it was... It's the worsted weight instead of the baby cakes a size 30, I think. But it's real pretty. I had something to do with cherry, I think. The color, but I can't remember. So it's, it's a decent size. It's definitely a baby blanket. So I'll probably will put this in my baby blanket stash that has been used up for uh, when people have babies. Because this would be a good one for a little girl because of the colors. And, uh, yeah, so that's that. It's really easy. I think I made it, I used a, um, a, a J hook. No, an I hook. And uh, it works out really good. And you can just keep increasing it and go on and make it as big as you want. I've made lovies with this before, a little, you know, like to here. And like I said, I made that big one for my sister. So it's a really good pattern and it's, it gets like embedded in your brain. <laughs> so that's my first finished object. My second finished object is a Sarah Satch pattern. 
and I just wanted something that was easy to work on one day. I wanted something kind of mindless. So I was looking at her patterns because her patterns are super easy. Um, and it's called Ladies Tote Bag. And she has a video tutorial on it and also a written pattern. I'll link them both below. So here it is. It's just cute. I made it with some of the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree Just Yarn. And I think I used an H hook or maybe an I. I can't remember. I followed the pattern. But it's really simple. You start down here and you just do like a repeat. And then you can keep repeating it if you want to make it like a larger market bag. But I just made it this cute little bag. I thought it'd be a cute little project bag. And again, my ends aren't woven in. <laughs> and I used an entire ball of this plus a little bit off of this one. Not very much. Right here is where I joined it. So just that much. And the handles is all that I um, used the second ball for. But this is really fun and it worked up super fast. I made it one day. And uh, it was kind of mindless because uh, it's all double crochets until you get to the handle. And then it's single crochets. But um, I watched, I made it while watching TV. So it was really easy. And I liked it a lot. I'll probably make some more of these because this would be cute for little girls or as project bags. Or little market bags. But yeah, so that's my second finished object. That's a leftover ball. Put that there for now. Alright, my third finished object <laughs> is an Amigurumi. A big one. This is a paid for pattern by Michelle Strada. And she also has a YouTube channel called Pixie Marie Crates, and I'll link that below too with the pattern. And uh, I think you get her pattern on Ravelry and on Etsy. I think I got it on Ravelry, because I like having it in the library. But it is Hiccup the Hippo. <laughs> I mean, mine in uh, Velvet Yarn from Walmart is Mainstays Velvet, and I think it was called Light Purple or something like that. I don't know. And I used Big old Safety Eyes that I was gifted. And, uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty cute. I kind of think it looks like a pig. I think mine looks like a pig. <laughs> but it's still really cute. It's really easy. I do not like this yarn, though. It broke a whole lot when I was using it. I did not like it at all. Uh, so much that I have some more of it. Right here's one. Ugh. I have two of this color. And I have one more purple. I th I'm probably just going to give them to someone <laughs> or donate it or something. Because I did not like this yarn at all. It was not fun to work with. <laughs> it actually made this project not fun for me because it kept breaking and was real, um, like you could see it. It's like, it just comes right off. Like you pull on it and it just fibers come off. I don't like it, but I love the pattern. <laughs> and I love the hippo. I'll probably give this hippo to someone. Uh, Jesse kind of plays with it a little bit, but not a lot. So I don't think he wants to keep it. But yeah, I think it's cute and it was fun. I love all of Michelle's patterns too. She makes some of the cutest things. But I'll link that below if you want to check it out. Cute little hippo. And I have technically five more finished objects, but they're not 100% finished because they're finished but i'm making them into something else this is what i was showing in what you're working in on wednesday last week and they are star doilies by sarah satch so i do have five of them and i made the full 10 round nine nine round one so i do have five of them one two three four five <laughs> they're just stars and i used i love this yarn ombre in old glory I used two almost whole balls. This is what I have left of two balls of it. <laughs> this is like three yards. Not very much at all. But I'm planning on making a table runner out of these. But these are finished objects technically because they're uh, doilies that are done. But I'm going to sew them together and do the last round for them. So I guess they're not done. This should be whip. <laughs> but um, to make a table runner, hopefully. I'll hopefully have that done next week to share with you guys. Because I wanted to get it done before 4th of July. But I've been procrastinating. But yeah, so that's all my finished objects. And my only whip is that one up there. I am behind on my movie squares. I need to make J and K, <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that in time. I just, I just need to sit down and do it. But yeah, so that's all the crocheting I've been doing. I haven't been doing a lot of crocheting recently because I've been so busy, but I'm trying to get back into my cycle of videos and stuff. It's just hard. <laughs> so I do have some happy mail that I want to share with you, and I already showed, did the winner. Yeah. So last thing I share with you guys is happy mail. So I did get this cute little card from Erica. She sends me cards just randomly. It's got a cat on the back of it. <laughs> so she's having this cute little polka dotted card with just a little note in it. So thank you, Erica. I did get it. Get it back in that little envelope. Okay, I'll do that later. And then my oh, watch is going off. And then I got two packages from anonymous people. But um, I think I know who one of them is. Because <laughs> one person asked me in a comment, what size zippers I use and then I happened to just get some zippers in the mail so I'm thinking it was from her but the little gift note says enjoy your gift I heard you were out of zippers hope this helps if a different size is needed just mention what size from a crochet friend I think I know who you are it's real crinkly but it's a bag and in this bag are three other bags and in those bags are 
I think nine inch zippers, 16 inch zippers, and 18 inch zippers, which I can all use. Because any zipper that's longer than I need it, I can just cut it down, because you can cut zippers um, if you need to. So that's awesome. I'm trying not to crinkle it much, because it's a real crinkly bag. <laughs> but thank you so much for that. I didn't need those. Those are actually on my list of things I needed to buy. So I was able to tick them off my list. And then the next package was also from a mystery person, who I, I don't know who it is exactly, but they've sent me multiple packages recently with fabric and other things in them. And so I'm going to show you all that stuff. Okay, so first is this cool strapping. It's like a couple of feet. Devin really likes this. If it was longer, he would want me to make a guitar strap out of it. But I'll use it for um, handles. And then there's a bunch of fabric. And it's different cuts, but they, they're they mostly a yard or more. So there's this one with fruits on it. Can you see it? And then there's this piece. I'm not sure what kind of fabric this is, but I can probably make a bag, a tote bag with it. It feels like the stuff that people make boots out of. Got bats on it and some metallic -y. And then this other Halloween print. It's glittery and it's got spiders and jack lanterns. Spider waves. It's just real pretty Halloween print. I like that a lot. And then there's a Christmas print that is also glittery. Come on, there you go. <laughs> it's like holly berries and ribbons. That's that feels like quite a bit of our, our fabric. I said yarn. And it's just really cute. Unicorns and rainbows and butterflies and bees. Print. And this one I really like. And Anna will like it. It's like a psychedelic swirly rainbow print. And then this Halloween print. It's also got glitter on the webs. I've had this one before. It's like a winter Christmassy horse print. I like there's... Alright, that's our receipt. And then there's this tiger print, which I thought this would be a good handle for it on, you know, on the side of the bag. <laughs> Wolves and an eagle, yeah, eagle, wolves and eagles. And I've had this print before too. I actually bought a whole bunch of this because it was on clearance once. It's like a fall print. <laughs> I don't know, I have a hard time saying that. And the last fabric is this sailboat print. This is thicker, this is like a canvas, but it'll still be good tote bags. And then in the bottom of that box, some candy. So there were some bags of mini Kit Kat bars. And some of my favorite caramel M&Ms. I love these. I love anything with caramel. But yeah, so that's a happy mail that I got recently. And thank you both so much, my mystery uh, gifters. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I know who sent the zippers just because of that comment. But I still don't know for sure who this person is who's sending me these mystery boxes, but I do appreciate them very much. Because <laughs> it's always fun to get gifts, and especially gifts that I can use. So, um, thank you so much for that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all my stuff I have to share with you guys today. I don't know when I'm going to come back on for another video. I'm hoping soon. But I'm not going to say for sure. For sure Wednesday, probably. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and get this edited up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.